Facts about George and Lenny. George and Lenny embody the American struggle to survive the depression and capture the isolation and suffering they exist it, even in the land of opportunity despite its 50 for the time language and real downer of an ending. The book was popular right away, even choose a book of the month club. The story we're about to unfold is of mice and men. Of Mice and Men is a novel written by John Steinbeck, published in 1937. It narrates the experience of George Milton and Lenny Small, two displaced migrants, ranch workers, who move from place to place in California in search of a new job opportunities during the Great Depression in the United States. Steinbeck based the novel on his own experience working alongside migrant farm worker as a teenager in the 1910s before the arrival of Okies that he would describe the grapes of wrath. The title is taken from Robert Burns' poem To a Mouse, which reads the best laid scheme of mice and men. Gang Alt Agile, the best laid scheme of mice and men often go a weary, which its book taunt in many schools of mice and men have been frequent target of censors for vulgarity and what some consider offensive and racist language. Consistent it appears on the American Library Association list of the most challenged book of the 21st century. We're going to read about the characters. George Milton, a quick widowed man who is Lenny's guardian and best friend. His friendship with Lenny helps sustain his dream of better future. He was bound in testing, teasing Lenny since he was young. He is described by Steinbeck in the novel as a small and quick, every part of being defined with small, long, strong hands on slender arms. He has a dark face and restless eyes. Lenny Small, a mentally disabled man, but gigantic and physically strong, a man who travels with George and his constant companion, he dreams of living off the farm and the eye and the inn and being able to tend to the rabbits. He is a huge man, shape of face with large pale eyes and wide sloping shoulders. Lenny walks heavily, dragging his feet a little, the way a bear drags his paws. Adding the arms do not swing at his sides but hang loosely. Candy, an aging ranch handyman. Candy loses his hand in an accident and worries about his future in the ranch. Fearing his age is making him useless, he seizes on George's description on the farm. He and Lenny will have offering his life savings if he can join George and Lenny in owning the land. Slim, a jerky skinner, the main driver of a mule team, the price of the ranch. Slim is gener greatly re respected by many of the characters. Curly treats with respect his, 
insight, institution, kindness, and naturally afford ye draw the other ranch hands automatically towards them, and slightly the only character to fully understand the bond between George and Lenny. We're going to read about Curly. Curly, the boss son, a young paganistic character, once a semi-professional boxer, he is dedicated by others with some irony as handy, particularly because he likes to keep a glove filled with Vaseline on his hands, horribly damaging the after Lenny fights back against I didn't read it properly curly the boss son a young pogan CS character once a semi-professional boxer, he is described by others with some irony as handy. Particularly, he likes to keep a glove filled with Vaseline on his hand, left hand. He is very jealous and protective of his wife and immediately develops a dislike towards Lenny. At one point, Corley loses his temper after he sees Lenny appear to laugh at him and ends up with his hand horribly damaged after Lenny fights back against him. Curly's wife, a young pretty woman who is mistreated by her husband. The other characters refer to her only as Curly's wife. Steinbeck explains she's not a person, she's a symbol. She has no function except to be a foil and a danger to Lenny. Curly's wife pro propagation with her own beauty eventually helps participate her death. She allows Lenny to stroke her hair an apparently harmless indulgence only for her to upset Lenny and when she yells at him to stop using it. Lenny tries to stop her yelling and eventually and accidentally kills her by breaking her neck. Crooks. Crooks the black stable hand gets his name from his crooked back. Fraud. Proud, bitter, and cynical. He is isolated from the other men because of the color of his skin. Despite himself, Crooks becomes fond of Lenny, and though he claims to have seen countless men following empty dreams of buying their own land, he asks Lenny if he can go with them and hole in the garden. Candy's Dog A blind dog who is described as old, stinky, and crippled, and is killed by Carlson. Carlson, a thick-bodied ranch hand, he kills Candy's dog with little sympathy. The boss, Curly's father, the superintendent of the ranch, the ranch is owned by a big land company, according to Candy, with a young ranch hand. The Story of George and Lenny